When it comes to car batteries, for a vehicle that isn't frequently driven, whether it be a race car, weekend cruiser, or something special that you only take out for a car show, you may need to consider ways to take care of the battery so that you can confidently start your car for those times when you need to take it for a spin. So here are my top tips for battery care in your special machine to help the battery last, keep it alive when left unattended, recharge it when it gets low on juice, or give it a boost when you get stuck in a pickle. First up, prevention is always better than cure. That is to say, it's easier to keep your battery healthy in the first place than to try and repair it after being excessively discharged. In the case of your car battery, first consider general care and cleanliness. Clean any corrosion or grime with a mix of baking soda and water. For a lead acid battery, check the water levels and if needed, top up with demineralized water. Check the voltage regularly and ensure it's at least above around 12.4 volts using a multimeter. Keep an eye on your alternator belt, and lastly, observe any change in your car's electrical operation. Particularly, keep an eye out for any symptoms like a slow crank when trying to start the car. Secondly, cutting power when storing your car. The key is to avoid letting the battery voltage from getting too low while the car is sitting. One of the easiest ways to do this is by disconnecting the car's electrical systems. Even when the car is shut off and parked, it still slowly saps some power. While you could simply disconnect a battery terminal from the battery, I like to use a kill switch like this, or I'll also like to use these green knob type switches. Really handy tool. Third is restoring a low voltage battery with a battery tender or a battery charger. If your battery is getting a little low or has been sitting for a few weeks, you can help keep it alive when unattended with a battery charger or battery tender. Of course, there are many different chargers available. In general, a basic battery charger is a simple and cheaper option and will bring the battery up to voltage. This one here was only around $30 from a hardware store. While a more advanced battery tender usually offers smart operation with an ability to maintain a battery voltage over time and usually results in a longer lasting battery, albeit for a higher cost, where this one here from Super Cheap Auto, prices start around $150. There's actually a really nice detailed review of this charger by some electrical guru dude, which I'll link in the description below. Fourth on the list is jumping your car battery when you've got yourself in a bit of a pickle. When you're really in trouble and you need to give your battery a boost in that emergency situation, then either a set of jumper leads so that you can jump the car from another car battery or from another vehicle, or jumper packs like this little unit here are the perfect answer. This particular jumper pack I have here is a 1500 amp Trek power unit by ABOX. It's actually a very nice little package. It offers a high quality feel, comes in an excellent carry case, and offers a heap of features like USB outlets for your phone charging, all for around 150 bucks. I'm stunned at the power that we can get out of such little batteries nowadays. It's really impressive. Uh, I'll link a description in below if you'd like to check one of these out for yourself. And finally, a quick safety tip. Whenever working with electrical systems in your vehicle, remember, always disconnect or remove the battery from your vehicle. You don't want to end up with a fire in your garage. Anyway, that covers off all of my thoughts on the best battery car maintenance out there. I hope this helps you out in some way and keeps your car on the road. Thanks for watching. Right. Hopefully this doesn't wobble and fall down. Damn, you're not going to be able to see the wheels. Put them there and make them look cool. Nothing. <clears throat>